The Scarab Gun is one of the most awesome hidden Easter eggs within Halo 2, but sadly, it did not make a return in Halo 3. But thanks to the mining community, it does make a return in Halo 3. So in this video, I want to showcase some gameplay of it, how to find it, and how to download this awesome mod to just go into Halo 3 and just cause some absolute havoc. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again. Today we're doing another mod showcase. We did a Borderlands video and it did super well on the channel so I want to do some more videos like this. So if you like these kind of videos make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Today's mod is brought to you by Rejected Shotgun. He's done some amazing mods on his channel guys. Go check him out. Link in the description down below. Trust me you won't regret doing it. It's He has such great content. More stuff coming along the way with mod tools coming into the MDC as well. And I'm sure if you can with Halo Infinite or other kind of content so rejected shotgun wanted to recapture that feeling in halo 2 that you had to kind of bounce or do some crazy thing to get out of the map to grab the scare gun and just like that that's what he did in this mod as well so this is also a tutorial on how to get out of the map on the mission arc there's always something derpy that really happens right here and in this case this guy just straight up just drives off the edge okay well thanks for your help dude i guess um Everyone else seems to learn how to drive in a straight line, but apparently not this guy. But yeah, anyways though. So what you want to do is grab yourself a brute chopper. This will really help in the situation. Luckily there's one that spawns right up here. So I got you just walk forward and up. Uh, okay, well, we'll just redo that one right there. Yeah, so we just kind of walk forward up into the next section, guys. And just want to make sure my buddy's like, oh, ugh, okay, that's going to hurt right there. Anyway, so uh, there's a brute chopper that spawns right here at the edge. And you just kind of jump into this and you also want to go grab a gravity lift as well. Uh, normally you just kind of take a little shortcut this way and you know it's a fall but you, uh, uh, okay well we had, luckily you just I had a checkpoint right there so you had to go kind of the long way around to go about doing this. So I want to go down to the very bottom of this map. This is where a gravity lift is spawned right there. It does bring in the scarab but no big deal. We'll take care of that a little bit later as you'll see and you want to kind of push up along the right side of this wall right here. And just kind of just keep figuring out a way to kind of shimmy up along the side right there. There's a little bit of invisible wall. You just keep boosting your way up through there. And this is why you need the, the gravity lift right here, guys. So you just drop this right here. And then you just jump into your brute chopper. Kind of line it up properly so you kind of get lifted over the edge. Trust me, this is going to save you a lot of time with this gravity lift here. So you just go up and, and um, yeah, I placed it a little too close. That's me figuring out I didn't place the thing okay yeah whatever let's get into the next section so after reloading the checkpoint we're back up in this and so i want to jump out and place the grab lift just a little bit short of that bar right there if anything you can probably put it midway honestly because you could boost up but you know i did a backflip so that's some extra cool points right so this is why you really need to grab that grab lift because this this easter egg is hidden pretty far back in an unused section that was originally supposed to be a second scarab fight for the game it uh, okay, well, back on topic. So the section was originally supposed to be a section for another scarab fight that was cut content, so it never got utilized. But luckily, Rejected Shotgun thought that'd be a great spot to put the scarab gun back into Halo 3 right here. And this just looks like exactly as you would suspect, the scarab gun in Halo 3. It plays out super well. It's so cool to shoot. It has the same sound effect, has the same look and feel of just that awesome memory berries of having the scarab gun back in Halo 2 Classic. So now this really just begs the question, how does it play? Well, we'll see. Have you ever seen a scarab gun versus an actual scarab? Well, in this game now, you can thanks to the mod by Rejected Shotgun. And the funny thing about this is there is no cooldown at all. It's infinite ammo as well. You can just keep holding down the trigger and just winning everything and so i saw this brute chopper coming in i was like i got this guy and, uh well sorry there mr unc dude uh me you know, casually of war i guess you're lining up right there and so you don't even need to jump in you just jump in the back walk to the back of the scarab shoot it a couple times it starts flashing up like crazy and then you just kind of back up and just you know i have to show the explosion because the explosions in halo 3 for the scarab fights are just so awesome. So now this is what it looks like against infantry guys. I'm sure you're probably curious about that as well. And yeah, it absolutely <laughs> annihilates. You just, I just hold the trigger and win the game. It's like, 
I'm not even trying. I'm literally not even trying, actually. This is just me completely dominating. This brute comes around the corner. I'm like, yeah, you, you probably should have stayed back there. My favorite section right here is grunts were just kind of sleeping, and then I got these orders. Stuff from grunts. Kill them as they and so I did, yeah. And just in over, it overly the, the top way. It was just hilarious. <laughs> like, so you know, you're usually just kind of melee your way through that section, you know, kind of being sneaky. That one, you just hold the trigger and just don't have any regrets whatsoever. <laughs> just like the, this room just had no chance. I walk in, I am a literal god with this weapon. You cannot stop me. You never will stop me and I'm gonna keep doing this because it's way too much fun. Now this next section I had to show you guys because you know right here you usually just kind of run away because like run away chief we got you air cover here and I'm like um I don't need to run. I told you I'm a literal god with this weapon. Take out the phantom like no business whatsoever. You just hold down the trigger just do not stop firing. Just spray left and right holding down the trigger the entire time. There is no regrets, no forgiveness, only death. That is all I'm doing right now. It's just so over the top. And this part right here, I'm like looking around like they got these stealth moves. I got shot. I'm like, wait, where where did that shot come from? I don't see him anywhere. And I'm just like, you know what? I have a gun. I have a scarab gun. Just start shooting. You're gonna win the game. There you go. Now this part was pretty interesting. This is the part, you know, with the the so many boss fight with the brute and then I'm wondering because this brute actually does have invincibility how well does he handle a scarab gun to the face well we have to find out and this is what happens and so I just start blasting just holding down the trigger just spraying left and right you can see him right there but then at that point I just kind of lost him I didn't really see where he was and I was like okay maybe I did kill him. that'd be pretty cool but then you look over he's alive he face tanked a scarab gun. <laughs> That's how strong invincibility is in Halo 3 with the Brutes. But, uh, you know, as all good things have to come to an end, so does his life. And, yeah, easily after the invincibility wore off, I was able to slay him. No problem whatsoever. So now you're probably wondering, how do I get my hands on this scarab gun? Well, first of all, you need MCC on PC, and I'm pretty sure you can either do it on Windows. I know you can do it on Steam, because that's the version I did it on. And we give you a quick tutorial on how to download this. So to download this mod, all you have to do is go in the link in the description down below to the Nexus mod. It takes you right to the link here. Click on Files. And then what you do, you click on manual download. There you download a zip file, you extract it wherever you want on your PC. It will create this folder called Halo 3. You click on that, click on the word maps, and this is where the file will be. I already have it downloaded, so all you have to do is take that file and follow the similar path right here with Halo 3 and the MCC, wherever you have it installed. Click on that, and then you go to maps, and then right here, you'll see 070 waste is the name of the file. You want to create the original file. You want to make a backup of that. So I have that name dash original and you just paste in the file you downloaded right here. And so when you want to play an unmodded version, you just rename the original file back to what this is and name this one like dash mod or whatever fits your fancy. And so that's the Scarab Gun in Halo 3. Thank you very much Rejected Shotgun for making this amazing mod. Link to his channel and content is in the description down below. Please go give him a follow guys, you will not regret it. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now. I've got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been on the loot for the last few days or so. So thank you so much for watching, greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.